much. Uh, first, uh, I want to say that normally I come in with a cup of coffee, but uh, Mayor Burgess stole it on the way. So since you're law enforcement, I'll leave it to you to, to take care of it. Uh, I certainly want to thank you and commend you for the job that you do in protecting all the citizens of Tennessee. Uh, it's a, it's a, a real honor for me to be here and get to speak to the people that are the, the, the soldiers against crime in, in our state. And you do an excellent job and I really do appreciate it. Uh, a couple of things about what we've done in the General Assembly. The first, uh, some of the statistics that many of you might know. Uh, about one person in five of the elderly are going to be going to suffer some type of uh, crime that's uh, directed at their financial assets. Uh, many of them have accumulated these assets in order to take care of their retirement years, and uh, they're targeted by individuals. And I'm sure. Uh, Many of you have heard or maybe even received uh, telephone calls telling you that the, the uh, sheriff is coming to your house to, to uh, uh, take you to jail. And of course, the, they, what they want you to do is give them a credit card over the phone. That, that's happened about three times in our, in our household. But uh, we've... Uh, uh, I want to certainly take this opportunity to commend some of the people in the Senate uh, that are on the forefront of working to protect our elderly citizens. And that's uh, Senator, Senator Mark Norris from Memphis, who uh, might be, uh, there's rumors he might be uh, one, of, one of the nominees for, for East Tennessee District Attorney General. And then uh, Todd Gardner from down in uh, uh, the Chattanooga area, Rusty Crow from up in uh, up in the Tri Cities, and uh, Farrell Hale, and he's from Sumner County, just north of Nashville. But they've done an excellent job this year, and we've had three major pieces of legislation that have come through. Uh, the first is the senior financial protection and securities modernization act and it provides a pathway for voluntarily reporting uh, and it also gives civil uh, immunity and administrative immunity to uh, brokers and, and bankers and other types of financial agents uh, when they feel like that there's a possible uh, crime going on and, and make a report uh, we also passed a bill uh, that uh, it it's, uh, requires the Department of Financial Institutions, and that's the department that regulates banking, uh, to consult with uh, financial service providers, uh, the Tennessee's Commission on Aging, uh, the Tennessee Department of Human Services, to develop a public education campaign. Uh, to educate our, our senior citizens about the possibilities of, of them being targets of crime. And this also gives new authority to financial institutions to delay or refer or, or refuse, excuse me, to conduct certain financial uh, transactions that they feel people might be withdrawing money uh, from the bank and sending it. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, criminal enterprise, and, and this uh, gives them the authority to do that, to make those delays. And it also uh, gives added tools and greater flexibility uh, to have bankers uh, who, who try to protect elderly individuals and uh, provides them some, some immunity. And uh, finally, we passed the Elder and Vulnerable Adult Protection Act, uh, 
which uh, makes it a criminal offense and increases the penalties for financial exploitation of elderly or other vulnerable adults. Uh, so these were three of the things that, that we've accomplished this year, and it's sort of an ongoing fight, and certainly we need your advice and your counsel on what we can do to still improve and, and protect our uh, elderly citizens against, against criminal elements of our elderly citizens. But I've got to go to another event, but uh, please feel free to contact me. Uh, one of the senators that I mentioned that are, that are uh, in heavily involved in elderly protection or your own individual senator or representative, if you do have any ideas uh, that, that are helpful in protecting our senior citizens. But thank you very much and I greatly appreciate you waiting on me and, and uh, we ran into a little bit of traffic on the way down. But thank you, appreciate it.